Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about prayers, and this time, the glory be. This is one of the shortest prayers I'm aware of, but it says some of the most important things one can say with that limited time. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now let's look at what the different parts of this prayer mean. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. That right there. Here we see not just a desire for God to be glorified, in all three persons of the Trinity no less, but also an intent to glorify God with these words. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. In this segment of the prayer, the person praying acknowledges that God is, in fact, glorified, always has been, and always will be. World without end. Finally, these words acknowledge the existence of heaven, the only world without end in which God is fully glorified. So, in this short prayer, we have the acknowledgement of the Trinity, God's eternal nature, and the existence of heaven, all wrapped up in a brief prayer intended to give glory to God. Next time, the meaning of what's called a creed. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.